here on Love it, Living It Away, we love telling you about things that you might not heard of. I recently learned out about this company who give you the gift of releasing a butterfly. They're called Paradise Monarchs, and we're going to find out all about it from Henry Fang, owner and butterfly dad of Paradise Monarchs. So nice to have you on the show. I can't tell people enough what a special experience it is. So tell me more about Paradise Monarchs and how you got started. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on, Tanya. So, very nice monarch. So, last um, March, I became for unfortunately, um, like a lot of people. So, I was actually out for an entire year. So, wow. I was just actually looking for something to do. So, I started my herbs garden. I also did like a vegetable garden. Um, in fact, actually, my next like kind of lockdown projects was going to be uh, raising chicken. But <laughs> the HOA said no. So I came across an article that I learned that monarch butterfly is on the verge of becoming an endangered species. So yeah. kind of to make the long story short, I just start raising them for fun. Um, and then very organic evolved. And now I share the experience, like the life monarch butterfly chrysalis. It is beautiful. Tell me more about where you find the butterflies um, that people can watch the transformation process and be a part of that experience. Yeah. So. There's a lot of crown flower tree out there, and growing up, there's a lot of people that raise monarchs at home. So there's actually um, a wild caterpillar have less than five, uh, three percent chance of survival in nature. So we actually don't pick a wild caterpillar. So we actually raise everything from a home garden in Eva Beach currently. Um, everything from eggs for about three and a half weeks to four weeks process until they form the chrysalis. Um, and you know, once they're safe to travel, they're healthy, then they're you know ready to be shared. Yeah, we raise everything all really responsibly and with a lot of love and care. We're looking at a video that shows a transformation, and it was incredible for me because I got four after learning about it delivered just before New mm -hmm. Year's, and I got a note that they might be ready the second. And if you remember, we had that stormy weather, and you don't want to release, but they held on past the rain. But tell people, yes. <laughs> guide them through that experience because I didn't know what to expect, but it was beautiful to watch. Yeah, so it's at the end of the day, they're still a wild insect. So once they receive the gift box, you know, it has it includes all the care and also release information inside. Um, you, you know, there's no feeding required. It's honestly super easy. You just simply, you know, take the box you know, out, get to see the transformation of a modern butterfly going to metamorphosis. Um, and once they emerge, then you make a wish and then you get to release your butterfly. It's super easy, like with minimal care. And I know the significance behind releasing butterflies, uh, especially for organ donors. Can you talk more about what this means to so many people and why they're enjoying this tradition? Yeah, so with the mono butterfly release, uh, with butterfly release in general, there's you know many meaning behind it. But um, the just of it, the, the, it symbolizes and hope happiness, a new fresh start, and like positivity. Um, so with each butterfly release, you know, not only you're helping with repopulating the mono population here in Hawaii, but it's really symbolic. It's like you going through a transformation with along with a mono butterfly and you get to set it free. And yeah, it's really symbolic, you know. It is special. It means new beginnings for a lot of people. And uh, I, like I said, too, I want to say I will post. You were so gracious to get it to all Thank my special so people while I was in Las Vegas, stuck there. And I had a special <laughs> moment with the Bekele family, Dylan, Lisa, and, um, and Kamalei for their late dad, Kaulana, from Manao Company. So I will post that later and show that. But one of the things that was incredible that I want to say is that each of the butterflies, we got four, they all came... Some were released two days before. The Bekele's, thank goodness, waited until the fourth when I was home from Las Vegas to gift it in person. Can you tell me about that and how that there is a little bit of variability on when it's going to be ready to be released? Yeah, so because these are still wild insects, sometimes their emerging date is outside of our control. However, mm -hmm. Because we raise everything from eggs, um, and we kind of know the progression of each caterpillar. We're able to predict just based on the temperature, um, the current temperature outside, and also the temperature we raise them in. We're able to predict their estimated emerging date. But um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, they're still wild insect. They, it could still be off by a day or two. Um, but yeah, we keep track every single one so we can, you know, better provide an estimated emerging day of each butterfly. I want to ask you briefly because um, I also gifted it to the Joaquins. They've said they've seen some monarchs flying around. What happens to most of them? Do they go somewhere? Do they stick around? Do you hear stories from people who've released them? Yeah, so they actually typically, from, from our research, they actually do stay in the area for the most part. Um, they, for butterfly, they just need to feed on 
uh, nectar, flowers. Mm -hmm. um, however, you know, once they mate, and then the female will then need to lay eggs on a crown flower or any milkweed plants. Um, the modern butterfly here in Hawaii, they actually don't migrate. We have some people here that, you know, modern butterfly migrate to Mexico mm -hmm. for winter. So those are the East Coast modern butterfly. The one here locally, they just stay here. I mean, <laughs> they're the not leaving. So <laughs> they're like, cool. like, they don't want to leave. <laughs> well, it's good that you call them paradise monarchs. They want to stay in paradise. Uh, the they website here, again, yes. thank you so much for what you do. ParadiseMonarchs.com. Find them on social. They're terrific. They will deliver to you, and I will post later my experience with the Pekeles. Thank you so much for what you do and for turning thank your you pandemic so much, and Tanya. pivoting into a special experience that helps so many families with hope and healing and happiness. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be